It's happened again. Um. Fortunately, nothing too bad was lost. What's happened is that Shadow Play screwed up, which is what he used to record uh, game footage. And um, it, the file for uh, when I, the last 20 minutes I recorded uh, got corrupted. Um, and uh, yeah. So that's kind of lost. Um, I mean, I could go and use a corrupt, you know, a a program to use it, but it only really gets brings back half of it, and uh, the first half just really didn't have anything, to be honest. Oh, let's go to Quesh. Oh, cool. Let's go save this guy. I mean, the whole the whole thing really didn't even have much. It, all all I did was went to Quesh, um, saved this guy who needed my help. Um. Met the Void Wolf, who's a bit of a klutz, to be honest. Well, he's not a bit of a klutz, he's just a bit of a... He's a big guy who's all like, ha, 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 You're so funny, Captain. Ha, 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 um, And then we re-met Beryl Thorn, who wanted to hook up with us again. But fortunately, I managed to say no, and she was all like, Oh, well, at least we'll have our memories on Taris. And then, we're done. And now, we're back on the ship. I mean, he's travelled to Hoth. So that's, that's that. That's, that's kind of what happened on Quest. Nothing really happened. And it suddenly tells me that's not going to come back to me in the future. Um, anyway, yeah, I guess we'll just sort of carry on. We need to travel to Hoff now. But I need to sort of show the titles first. And that was my phone alarm. It's 12 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Ooh! Ooh, I can sit on a chair. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so... Uh, let's start the episode all over again. Hello, everybody. It is I, Mr. Charlie Murray. Nothing bad happened in the last episode. Yeah, we totally didn't have a corrupt file at all. And welcome back to the Sith and... No, no, the Hello, Smuggler. Captain. Ugh. Thanks for making your way all the way out there. I can't see you. Your work on Balmora no. was superb. Thank the you. The Military Expenditure Committee has even stopped harassing me about my crazy privateer idea. And let me apologize up front. Hoth is hardly one of the galaxy's top vacation spots. I'm picturing bantha skin rugs, a roaring fire. Huddling under fur, sharing body heat. If it wasn't for the Imperial bombardments, it'd be paradise. Here are the facts. Until a few years ago, Hoth was a frozen wasteland with zero habitation except the occasional pirate ship. Which would still be the case if we hadn't lost our most advanced secret fleet in the ambush above it. With the number of ships that went down, we and the Imperials are both stuck here, battling it out to claim this rotten ice slick. Battlefield tactics aren't really my specialty. That's not why you're here. Right now, neither the Republic nor the Empire claims Hoth's airspace. We were driven out by some witless pirates called the White Maw. Somehow these outlaws have acquired such a supremely advanced cloaking technology that they can outmaneuver both the Republic and the Empire. Who are these guys? Why haven't I heard of them? The SIS says they're known in the Outer Rim, mostly for the brutality. They like to pull blowouts, open a freighter to hard vacuum to jettison the contents. And crew. This cloaking device, whatever it is, makes their ships basically invisible to instruments. We can't see them coming. We can't stop them, and neither can the Empire. We need this device, and we need you to get it for us. As always. You didn't say please. Oh. Are you the kind of man who likes to hear a woman beg? Go ahead. When you get planet side, speak to Major Painan. He'll be your point of contact and tell you anything else you need to know. Fortunately in the, uh, oh, I'm in first person mode. Fortunately in the corrupt files which we had, um, I didn't do any of the companion stuff, so we haven't, lo we haven't lost our progress with that. Um, something tells you that the quest stuff just really doesn't matter on the smuggler story. I mean, it really didn't feel- I mean, we met the Void Wolf. It's just like, oh, hi. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you want you want me to kill this guy? Okay. Um, well, you know, this guy wants to try to kill us to impress the Void Wolf, but that's it. So, you know, I'll try and make the, 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 the Void Wolf, um, when we meet him again, be all, ooh, special, ha. <laughs> But before we go down to Hoth, let's actually talk to our companions, um, and then I'll stop the recording. Um, just, I think that's probably what I need to do in the future, is stop my recording in little chunks, just so that I know I've got that recorded properly. Captain, 
I just got some real good news. Ooh? Somebody attempted to access Vidu's old bank accounts from Tatooine. Ah. Aren't all of Vidu's people dead? Maybe not. Vidu's crew was like a family to me. First one after mine were killed. I didn't think any of them survived Skavik and Serena. I don't know what they'd be doing on Tatooine. Any idea who's back from the dead? The only one with access to the accounts was our slicer. Twi'lek kid. Called himself Jettison. Good guy. Makes me wonder what got him so desperate he tried to take a loan from a dead man's accounts. It'd mean a lot if we could stop on Tatooine, so I can make sure the kid's okay. I'll find him. You got my word on that. Thank you, Captain. I won't forget you did this for me. From what I can tell, the access attempt came from some village, way off the beaten path. No name or anything. Really makes me wonder what he's doing out there. Uh, we'll do that after we've done Hoth. We won't do it right now. Can, can, I, can I move, please? Thank you. Um, so we need to head to Tatooine. We're in a pickle! Do I get any experience? Ooh, I get a lot of experience. 58. That, ooh. ooh. Now, here's the problem, right? If I gain any more levels, I'm not going to get that experience. So maybe I ought to do that first quickly. Um, we probably will. Finally, with you, I'm a person. For a century, I was property. A weapon. Something you could trade, like your gun, for something better. Guns don't get hurt if you sell them. You understand. When I see slaves now, my rage for their masses burn hot. I'm already too used to my freedom. Oh, Bowda! Bowda! Don't make me upset! Oh, God. Um, what's, what's there? Oh, Spa, hi! I will not be with you long. Do not begin to think I am yours. This is a convenient arrangement, that is all. Okay. Just humor me. It's two syllables. Hell, oh. I know you can do it if you put your mind to it. Hello. <laughs> See? I bet if you really worked at it, you could even smile. My clan is dead, and I have not avenged them. What would make me smile? I will travel with you as long as our interests coincide. I love how you still got approval for that. You know, I, I was being sarcastic with you. I know your cl whole clan's dead and whatnot, but you still kind of approved of that. Huh. Sometimes I can't believe you actually got back my crown. Do you know how many spacers died looking for it? Don't take this the wrong way, but when we first met, I thought you'd end up like all the others. How many spacers died? Probably the amount of Bothans that died trying to get the uh, Death Star plans. No wonder you wouldn't let yourself fall for me. You were afraid I'd die. Oh yes, terrified. You're all right, Captain. With a little polish, you just might shine. This polishing business sounds like fun. When do we start? Oh! I wasn't volunteering, Captain. Just observing. I shouldn't be keeping us from our work. I know how busy we are. Oh! I know what polishing hell I was thinking about! Ha <laughs> ha uh, Should we make this a little bit of a companion episode? We'll, we'll, we'll try and do as much of the stories as we can before we head to Hoth. Yeah, I think we should. I do not think. I do not stop thinking about of the gambler, the one who abandoned me on Drew, Druga. Ugh. It was my own fault. I chose to go with him. Why is that? My own then. My own then was an imperial slave. He used me for hard labor all day. Then the pits on at night. The gambler promised to treat me with honor. Only the best fights. I convinced my owner I was too dangerous to keep. Let me guess. He never intended to keep his promise. After the, my first night, he forgot me. I sat in his hole for months, then he dumped me with Druga to cover a gambling debt. Better to stay an Imperial slave. Hello? I was going to say, are you, you going to do anything? Wow, we're nearly halfway to level 39 already. Um, I probably should stop before I... Oh, I can't do Corsa because I've got his mission at the moment. I guess we'll go to Spa. I just call it Spa. I, I'm not, I can't be bothered to call it Akavi. I'm just going to call it Spa. It's easy. Your crew has welcomed me. I did not expect that. What's the usual protocol for Mandalorians turning against the Empire and joining a shiftless spacer's crew? 
I would call no part of that usual. It was not a coincidence I came to you on Belmora. Your name is famous among bounty hunters for the price both Skavik and Rogan put on you. I wanted to see who was worth so many credits. Are you disappointed? Can you put a credit value on this? Uh, I always thought I was priceless. Every man and woman has someone who will pay to see them dead. Most just don't follow through. Do not worry. I would not give this up for a bounty. Aww. Thanks, Ba. Oh, you just a charmer. Risha, why do I keep going past you, Risha? I think I figured out why we get along so well, Captain. We're both restless people. It's how we survive. Trouble loves us, and we just keep on moving. Eventually, Trouble gets tired of following and gives up. I'm the kind of Trouble that never gets tired. Do yourself a favor, sweetheart. Stop running. I don't have to run from you, Captain. A brisk walk is usually enough. There wasn't nearly enough trouble growing up on Dantooine. After being a crime lord's daughter, sitting around got dull real quick. I had a big library of hollow recordings from my father, but I could only watch them so many times. You still had a starship. I'm guessing you weren't long for Dantooine. By the time I was 14, I'd had enough. I buried father's carbonite chamber someplace safe and hit the hyperlanes with a new identity. Those were good times. I met Juran and Adila, got mixed up with Beryl Thorne, lived a life of crime. I'm sure Nock was proud of your accomplishments. Actually, he was disappointed I didn't have my own criminal empire. I was having too much fun on my own. I'm starting to enjoy these chats, but I'm feeling restless. Let's go find some trouble. It will do, because you've got a bit more chat to do with you, but now we're going to head to Tatooine, actually, uh, so that we can do Corsos. Uh, mission so I can get a bunch of experience and pretty much reach level 39. No doubt though, I have to travel there first before I can qu Oh, I can't quick travel, can I? Oh no, because I haven't got Tatooine unlocked. Oh, that is just a bummer. I have to actually go the slow way. <sighs> I, mean, I could probably just use legacy ability. Uh, Couch pucks, isn't it? Outlaw's Den is there, and it only costs 50000 That's a lot of money, actually. But I'm sold! I'm going to use it, because it, it will save, what, two minutes? Yes. Amazing. Let me guess. I need to go... Oh, okay, I need to go down there. Can I quick... Tr mm. I need to go that... Do I need to actually go through Outlaw's Den, or can I go around it? I don't... I don't really want to risk it because anybody could be in there. Anybody, but I think it's the quickest way, isn't it? It is the quickest way. God! Save me, mother! Excuse you! My word! Oh, what's that? Uh, ooh, it's a PvP thing. But I'm not doing here for PvP. I'm just here to, to just pass on through. Nobody's here, right? Yeah, but I think we're good. Oh, hello! Don't burp on me. And we're out of here, unless there's somebody lingering outside this entrance ready to kill me. But they're not. Phew! Okay, next question. Where have I got to go? Have I got to go up here into my phase, or is it down below? Uh, where the hell? Oh, it's that. Wow. That is really snuck into a cave, isn't it? Ah, okay then. Whoa, what is this? Hello, you must have Corsa... Oh, of course we must. <sighs> Bye, uh, Risha. Mm -hmm. Wow, Corsa, your fix is up to How 14? Are you? are you sure? Do you have a minute? We're looking for a stranger in your village. A Twi'lek kid called Jettison. I got a call from him, place from here. No strangers here. They don't like them, if you're smart. Don't be one. What's wrong? What's going on behind that shield? Busy. Busy time. It's feast day, you know. <laughs> uh... Taste just like Bantha. What are you scared of? Does it have something to do with where everyone is? Where everyone is? What everyone is? I'm a stranger here, too. They kidnapped me to be their doctor. They collar me at nights. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. We figured that part out. Care to enlighten us what? The people. They're crazy. They worship. 
the desert. Burned sacrifices to her. And I treated them, dozens of them, f for the laughing sickness. There's only one way to get that. Eating human flesh. Oh. Hello. Set two more fires. These strangers will be fresh meat tonight. You look like that kid from American Horror Story with that face pass. Face pass? With that face mask. Face paint is what I was trying to say. Corso there is all muscle, stringy, and I have it on good authority that I'm bad for the heart. You mock us. You have no idea what it takes to survive in the desert. Her gifts are few. It is blasphemy to waste any flesh she provides. Are you seriously trying to justify this? Kill them! Save the organs! But I like my brain and my heart and my guts. Is gut an organ? And my penis! Where's the other three? Oh, of course they would be up there. <sighs> okay, that, that was very easy. Oh no, I'm trapped behind boxes. Whatever shall I do? Jettison! Who decides to name you Jettison? Were you born when you got jettisoned? Corso? Is that you? How did you... I, I didn't think I would ever... Oh, I heard they took in strangers who were new to the planet. And they locked me up and... Were they gonna eat me? They're gone. They won't be hurting anyone again. How did you end up here, Jed? I thought Serena got the whole crew. I had the set cameras wired to my comm. I saw it all go down. Started running and I didn't stop until I hit Tatooine. I was trying to start over. After what Serena did, I've been too scared to go in anyone's systems. It was kind of a game for me, working for Vidu. It never really hit home to me that we were committing crimes. That people could die. It's rough to lose friends like that. I've got no one. No place to go, no, no money. I was hoping I could take something from Vidu, but of course, so is there anything? Don't worry, Jet. We'll take care of you. Won't we, Captain? Uh, depends on one, two, or three. You want to do right by the kid? Who am I to argue? Go to Anchorhead. Should be some people there who owe me and the Captain a good turn. I'll try to set you up with some legit work. I think you've had enough of the wild side. I'll say. <laughs> Thank you, Corso. I can't think of anyone from the old crew I'd rather have find me. There's no one more loyal than Corso, Captain. You're lucky to have him. Am I? Really? The, uh, absolute sexist idiot that he is? I'm lucky to have him. Still not going to Hoth yet. Still doing companion stories. I envy you, Captain. You'll always be free to do as you please. That all changes for me, once I'm a queen. Freedom is overrated, sweetheart. I'd rather buy a nice planet somewhere, retire with the woman of my dreams. Dream woman, huh? Good thing you've got a vivid imagination. I've studied records about the Draean dynasty. They started from humble beginnings, distinguished themselves as war heroes, officially anyway. In reality, they backstabbed their way to power just like every other ruler. Some were better at it than others. Why didn't Nock make his own play for the throne? He was king of the backstab. He knew recovering the crown was essential to establishing legitimate rule. It's not enough to conquer a world, you have to hold it too. Father had his failings, but he inspired loyalty. Whenever he defeated a rival gangster, he always freed the enemy slaves. He gave them a choice, join him or take their chances elsewhere. No recriminations for anyone who left. The rest became family. Interesting way to recruit new talent. How many slaves actually signed on? Those people had a lot of anger issues. Most were excited to have a job that let them express it. There was this one little Twi'lek girl who joined us. Best thief I ever met. Got into all sorts of trouble together. We were like sisters, but when Father's organization collapsed, we got separated. I never found out what happened to her. Uh, don't know if you just realized. She just referenced Vet. No news is good news. She's probably enjoying an early retirement somewhere. I like to think so. You're really bringing out my chatty side today. That usually means I need to get some exercise. Let's find something more exciting to do than stand around. Let's 
curious, really. Level 39, by the way. It is kind of curious, because a lot of people have said, why is it that it wasn't Vet and Risha that came back in um, Profit and Plunder in the Kopfi uh, chapter? But I think probably that's why. I guess they maybe want to have like a proper reunion at some point, maybe, between the two. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, that would have that would have made sense, because then we'd be like, oh, we've known each other for years, and it'd be, it'd be sweet, and it'd be lovely. Um... About our anyway. I never enjoy killing any arena except the filthy lizard men. They deserve no mercy. Trandoshans are blight on the sheep. They are vicious, onerous. They hunt us like animals to wear our skins. You should appeal to the Republic. They wouldn't allow such atrocities. We do not need outsiders to protect us. Trandoshans must learn Wookiees are prey who fight back. I taught the lizard men to fear us every time I killed one in the arena. Now they know Wookiees are better than them. You think winning a pit fight will change an entire species? Trandoshans worship their kills. Hunting is all... Okay, I cannot change that. There's enough to scare them. Only the bears should take on a Wookiee. I could kill a Wookiee. I bet I could kill a Wookiee. Maybe that's why they haven't allowed us to go to Kashyyyk yet, so that we don't end up killing Wookiees, because something tells me... People would get quite angry at Sith killing a Wookiee. You think about it all? That craziness back on Tatooine? What makes a person desperate enough to start seeing his fellow men as meat? I've got a pretty thick skin, but the idea of being lunch meat still gives me the willies. Seeing those guys makes me wonder if our grasp on sanity is a lot less firm than we think. Anyway, I heard from Jettison. He's recovering. He went back to Ord. He's looking for a job handling Holonet security for the governor. Glad to know he's okay, you know? One thing to point at and say, we did some good here. Yeah, those were people you could feel downright cheerful about killing. When I was growing up, you know, good was good and bad was bad. Now, it's all these shades of grey, and even those aren't always true. Fifty shades of grey? No, no, just, just many shades of grey. I got a lot of companion stuff. Because they released the companion stuff like kind of um what's what's the word oh i just saw the inside of uh Harlow's head then they they've changed it so that it just they just released the companion so at the right time so i got a lot to backtrack on you are not what i expected captain i've seen you in battle i know you can fight but i've been killing jedi and republic troopers since my childhood and you are nothing like them what the mandalorian kids not no tag even the youngest Mandalorian child would rather prove her mettle in a real fight than play games for points. My father would not have thought you an honorable opponent. But I have seen your victories. I believe you are a worthy foe. And what do Mandalorian women do with a worthy foe? Rawr. Usually, they kill him. Mm. A warrior can only challenge herself against enemies of honor and courage. There is no honor in attacking those beneath you. A worthy foe is a gift. In defeating them, we hone ourselves to the best we can be and bring honor to the name Mandalorian. Or so I was taught. Okay, we're done with you now? We're done with you? Okay! Only three more to, <laughs> three more to go. Seems like I've been doing all the talking lately. Makes me suspicious. The biggest drawback of the criminal lifestyle is, you don't meet a lot of decent men. Most are long on charm, short on substance. What's underneath that charming exterior, Captain? Or is that all you've got? Maybe I just didn't want to bore you with personal details. You want to know more about me? Ask away. You're a hard man to figure out. Sometimes you play the hero. Sometimes not. What's worse, that you can't figure me out? Or that I might not be a hero? I've had my share of heroes. They can be unreliable, too. I won't lie. I enjoy spending time with you, but I'm not like other girls. The easy lines are wasted on me. If that doesn't scare you off, maybe this will actually go somewhere. I guess we'll see. We will see. That's why I'm just going to keep pressing 2 until I get lucky. <laughs> I really hope I haven't screwed it up because, like I said before, 2 is usually the flirt option. But every now and then, it's not. Yeah. Uh, just you, Corso, now, apparently. You ever think about getting away from all this, Captain? 
The war, the huts, all of it. Ord's at peace now. It'd be a simpler life. Ord's a... What? No, they're not. If that's what you really wanted, you'd stop moaning and just do it. Yeah, that's a good point, Captain. So I approve of it. Don't After disapprove. everything we've done, I guess I'm just feeling like hiding my head in the sand. Beauty always had something to say about that. Gets you shot in the end. Better to face it head on. Oh, is that it? Oh, I thought there'd be more than that. Oh, we're done! Cool! Uh, we're halfway through to level 40 as well. Um, where am I going? No, we need to... I need to go to Hoth, don't I? I was going to say, where are we going? We need to go down to the planet, but we're not on Hoth yet. Uh, we'll go speak to What's His Face, and then we'll finish up this episode. So at least I've done something on Hoth. Can't complain that I haven't done something, even though it's just been a companion talk sort of episode. But, you know, I felt I've got a lot to backtrack on. Better just speak to everybody and do it. Uh, uh, I've gone the wrong way round again. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, and we need to speak to Major Panin. Panin, Panin, you need to paddle in. Oh, I'm Gus. looking for Major Panin. What are you saying? I, I wasn't... I mean... You startled me. Uh, I am Master Langus Duno, Jedi advisor to the Republic forces. Hmm. I uh, assume you're from off-world, seeking the poor late Major Panin. Yes. The late Major Panin? Yep. Blown to jelly. I uh, hope you weren't close. Uh. Poor Major Panin died in an Imperial strike on the base a few days ago. Killed instantly. Ah. Ah, here are his notes. Senator Dodonna's privateer, right? Infiltrating the White Maw. It won't be easy to earn their trust. So long as they're afraid, I think they'll welcome me just fine. You can't just take them on. These are some organized and truly nasty sons of huts. I, I, I mean... Yeah. My child. Yes. Uh, the force is dark around these pirates. Ah. They have great anger. Serious, serious anger. Do you understand? Like you? You have to get at them from the inside. That means showing no loyalty to the Republic. And having something they want. There'll be a way. I just need to make it to the table. Last week, White Maw pirates tried to grab a cache of ship-to-ship -ship sensors. If you could steal those, with the Republic's full permission, of course, they'd make a perfect goodwill offering. The Republic's permission, huh? You gonna make sure of that? The droids guarding the cache will have to defend it to be convincing, but I'll inform the lieutenant in charge. I bet you were that kid at the Jedi Academy who short sheeted the Master's beds. <laughs> Twenty hours of meditation on a cold rock every blasted time. I've got the coordinates here. The cache is inside a cave not too far away. Uh, okay. Go get the sensors. I'll make sure the lieutenant knows you're coming. All right. So, we're going to leave it here for now. We've spoken to all our companions in this episode. All our companions in this episode. And, uh... Next time, we will. I, get, I think next time I will try and complete Hoth because that way I've got. I'm sort of on par with my Sith Inquisitor again because I'm trying to keep them sort of like on par with each other, kind of. And I know in the next episode of the Sith Inquisitor I'll finish Hoth and blah de blah de blah. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I and Risha. Whatever you want. We'll see you next time. And a farewell to you.